A tree's leaves are made up of many different types of pigments, including yellow, orange, brown, red, purple, and bronze, which are present at all times. However, we don't usually see these colors because pigments called chlorophylls, which are green, dominate them during the spring and summer. Around the first week of October, however, the chlorophylls begin to retreat, the other pigments emerge, and the leaves begin to change colors. We are now almost at mid-October and approaching the point of peak foliage. At this stage, the chlorophylls have given way to the maple's red pigment, producing a spectacular vista. Peak foliage is short-lived, and as such factors as daylight and temperature intervene, the tree begins to shed its leaves. The actual process takes place at the base of the leaf stem, where a group of cells serve as the glue that joins the leaf to the branch. As the connection between leaf stem and branch continues to weaken, such conditions as rain, wind, and snow help separate the leaves from the tree. Once the leaves are gone, the tree prepares for winter. The main thing that it does to survive is stop growing until the spring, when the ground begins to thaw and a new cycle begins.